Students, this is Professor Holly Wye talking to you today about some tough math problems. Have you ever been given those story problems where you've been asked to explain your reasoning in solving the problem? I want you to think of this simple strategy, Professor Howie Wye. Students, think about how you solved the problem and why you got the answer that you did. Let's take a look at this problem. Let n represent the position of a term in the sequence below. There's my sequence. Which algebraic expression can be used to find the nth term of the sequence and then explain your reasoning in solving the problem? Well, first I'm going to label each term. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight is my first term. Eleven is my second term, and so on. Ah, I see a relationship each time. They're growing by three. They're being increased by three each time. That tells me something. I'm going to look at this chart here. My input, ah, students, there's the bell, but sit down and focus. We need to figure out how to solve this problem and then figure out how to explain our reasoning. Our input was one. I know my first term was one and my output was eight, but how did I get there? Hmm. I do know my first term and each term is growing by three, so three times one plus what is going to give me eight? And students, I know, you know, three times one plus five gives me eight. Let's see if it works for the second term. My second term is 11. There's my input. There's my output. Does three times two plus five equal 11? Absolutely positivity. Look at this answer right there. I can tell it's D. 3n plus 5. Now, explain your reasoning in solving the problem. We're going to use the strategy how we why. Explain how. Explain the steps. First, I ordered the sequence in terms One through six. And saw an increase of three. And saw an increase of three. Each time. So that explains my steps. But also, I need to explain why I got the problem I did. Which basically, here's how I proved my answer. Ah, the why part. I proved my answer. I proved 3n plus 5 by building a chart. So students, you may not write down exactly what I wrote down in a problem like this, but once again, Think about how you solve the problem, the steps involved, and why you got the answer that you got. This is Professor Howie Wide talking to you about some tough math problems. And don't forget, the secret is effort.